Hey there. Well, I'm not done, but I have some pretty good progress. Uh, so I thought I'd throw another uh, partially boring update to you guys to show you how the Geek Palace has progressed. Uh, since last time I have skinned my bench, it's all of this crappy uh, rough cut lumber here. I've got now a nice big piece of half inch ply running down here. And it was truly the shittiest ply that Menards could give me. It's my own damn fault. I should have paid more attention. I've got no one else to blame. But there were huge cracks and chunks and pops missing. So we've had to fill it with um, wood putty. But it makes a nice smooth surface after <laughs> copious sanding, of course. Uh, so I can begin to do some fiddling. I've got... Uh, Oscilloscope, hookup wire, soldering gun, etc. etc. Uh, so I'm ready to begin fiddling. I haven't quite organized my wife's stuff yet. My wife is also supposed to be in here with her uh, scrapbooking group. Um, at the moment, the uh, or one of the two discs, there's a long one there, that she's supposed to use is covered in octane. So I kind of got to find a home for all of those. I'm going to move my pool table as well, but. We have my shelves, which I didn't really get to gloat on last time, so I'll tell you about. Some of the shelves from the basement of the old house are now set up. I have a row of machines here, and all of my racks in the basement are now, finally, in one place. So uh, my shelves from the basement are um, possible at best. Uh, I actually stood on one. You can kind of see the damage here and the whole damn thing <laughs> buckled. Um, I, yeah, again, like the bench top, no one to blame but myself. Uh, so we're going to replace these with um, some ply. I think I said in the last video I was going to put some ply across here. This is just a temporary measure, but it gets stuff up off the floor because obviously there was this huge pile here before. Um, so I've got mostly boxes of spare parts keyboards, cubic spares, uh, hard disks, caddies, uh, stamping up, but uh, computer guts, of course, bench supplies, bits and pieces, S64s, random cables. These, um, I think I've also gloated about, but it's a serial to ethernet bridge. Uh, you program it up, give it an IP address, what have you, and then whatever's attached to the serial gets bridged onto the ethernet. And I've got quite a few of them, so a big thanks to Matt for that one. Uh, Commodore Hell, Suns. Starting at this end of the line, we have Sun, Sun, so those are the 386i, those are the 4500s, the E350, or the E450, I'm sorry. Uh, HP Visualize, it belongs to Jonas. Net servers, and the Xerox. We've got the CDC removable pack drive and its head, which of course is the 1134A. I know I will continue with another one of these. I loaned the boards to a friend of mine to um, test them. So hopefully we'll get that back. Along with the digitals, we have two Vaxes. There's a floppy drive for the 1134. We have uh, IBM R6000, the IBM 50, what is it, 5324. And this is the baby brother to that. That is the ECL version. This is the up-to-date compact. So all of this stuff in this machine here, obviously missing the big quad hard disks and the beautiful 8-inch uh, CD jukebox, but this is binary compatible. And then next to it is the solid-state storage array. Uh, and this is actually DESDA, um, which is an IBM protocol, or at least usually used by IBM, so I'm putting it in the IBM section. We have my Series 1 rack. And then Onyx 2s. And I think I'm going to start fiddling with these in short order. Uh, now I have power supplies for them. So we'll see if we can get a, hook of the, a couple of these hooked together and have something interesting happen. Uh, I have my sun rack, which uh, embarrassingly at the moment has... Let's take off the front panel. A NCR brand uh, SCSI RAID array. And then, come on, 
an IBM Netfinity server and there's another one up there as well. So I'm pretty sure that uh, Mr. McNeely is most upset with me, but I need the rack. Uh, Cubix, which doesn't fit into anything of course. On the back of all of the SGI's. A box of Kralinks. And then random bits of pieces that I'm uh, going to use. I'm going to strip apart for bits and pieces. Laser disc player, a score from the local high school. Huzzah! Commodores, uh, sun manuals, power supplies from sun spike arrays, copious amounts of cabling, which is so light that I'm not sure what the hell I'm going to do with it, but there you have it. More cabling. Uh, random octane. Box of boards, Commodore magazines, random bits and pieces, huh, more random bits and pieces, yeah, Christmas, and then, uh, what's that, oh, a hidden a crankshaft from a Triumph and then Triumph Guts over there. So, progress, real progress, looks kind of organized, still got a bit of floor space we'll have to use up, but uh, not too bad. Uh, oh, my shelves, I was going to gloat about my shelves. So, um, the shelves are constructed of 4x2s with a 3 quarter inch ply top. They are 11 feet long, which means that I've got an 8 feet section here and then a 3 foot section here joined. The, um, oh, they have a center stringer as well and it's reinforced on the back and then 2x4s up and down. Now each one of these weighs uh, just just the shelf alone uh, so you know 11 feet of three quarter inch ply and then the two by fours and the stringers um, probably about 120 pounds so it actually took two of us to put this idiotic thing in place and to do it um, I had two by fours that um, I put under here as shims put this on top of it zipped it in uh, made sure it was straight took the two by fours out and then I set them on top of here between this shelf and this shelf, and I cut them to the right length, put this on top, zipped them in, again made sure it was um, straight, and then took a couple inches off the 2x4, pulled it out, put it there, put this shelf on, and all the way up, because we needed, you know, this had to sit on something to support its weight, because it was so damn heavy. Uh, and, well, it's obviously... Taller than I am by six or so inches from my reach, uh, which isn't saying much because I'm a bloody midget practically. But it's, I think I worked it out to be just a shade over eight feet in height. Um, and as you can see, has most of my monitors on it. I need to get rid of a bunch of these, unfortunately. Uh, a lot of them are bumped, but the cost of getting rid of monitors is horrendous. In fact, tonight there was a recycling day, which I've only just remembered about it, I realize, so it does me no freaking good right now. Um, but you can get rid of a computer. Mainframe, um, they said, like anybody around here is a mainframe. Uh, well, aside from me. <clears throat> um, you can get rid of a computer for free. They just take them. Monitors were 15 bucks a pop. So, uh, yeah, obviously I was not going anywhere. My dear friend uh, Tarsi210, who helped me put this damn uh, mess together and helped with bringing all of this crap out of my basement and moving here and such like that, my uh, poor right-hand man that gets sucked into all of this crap. He has 48 monitors and all-in-ones that he needs to get rid of. 48, uh, as he's a collector like myself. Now, at 15 bucks a pop, yeah, I, I don't think so. So we're, we're still kind of working on this one, but, well, anyways. Uh, so I've gloated about my shelves. I've told you about my shit-tastic um, steel shelves that I'm going to get rid of. My uh, sun guts that are up there. Beowulf, radio gear. Octanes. Racks upon racks. And some vague organization. Progress, progress. More to be made. Um, I'd like to finish off my bench with a few more lights. Uh, I've only got the one long one there and then a couple spots, although this one's out. Um, need more light. If I'm going to be soldering or doing any kind of detail work. I'm going to need a lot more uh, lux than that. Some more shells would be kind of nice. And then move some of this junk up here. 
maybe utilize this space a bit better, I don't know. Right now we're battling the spiders, so there's cobwebs all over the place if I don't clean on a daily basis. Fiddle with the vector, it's on the to-do list. Fiddle with the PDP, it's on the to-do list. Refresh my memory on the IBM, definitely on the to-do list, a lot of work there. Uh, the more I reflected upon it, um, and I'm glad I didn't promise I was going to do anything the last time, but the more I reflect upon it, the longer I think this one's going to take to do, because I'm going to have to go over all of the documentation, um, well, okay, not all of it, but a great swath of it to re-familiarize myself with how this thing is even supposed to function. So um, before I start ranting on about this, I want to actually be vaguely factual in my understanding, so we'll work on that. But I have power. I have 220 in the building. Uh, I have something like 90 amps of 220 in the building. So I should be able to bring up a bunch of these, which would be really exciting. And I'm going to start with um, leaving the graphics modules off, bring up the compute modules, see which ones function, see which ones the processor boards come up with, if I've got any deadheads, anything like that. And um, sort of, you know, get a uh, uh, organize what I've got, work out what lives, what doesn't, uh, take good boards, put them in good machines, you know, put all the crappy stuff to one side. Then I'll start doing the graphics modules one by one by one, seeing which ones are bump, which ones are good. I'm sure that I've probably killed a couple of these um, with all of the moving. I mean, they're just not designed to be moved like I have to move them, uh, which is really sad, but unfortunately the reality of the way I collect things. Uh, may the Lord of Computing and Cray not strike me down. Uh, however, once I get a couple things working, we'll cray link a couple together, bring them up, see what we can do. Get some uh, big CC NUMA single system images, hopefully. Well, um, like I said, another semi-boring update. I promise I'll get to something interesting soon. I found some more bits and pieces from my Z80 stuff, so we will get fiddling with that at least some point, another project. Um, come up with a couple more ideas for that, so I'm kind of looking forward to that one. I hope you guys... Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching.